as you can see we're on x defiant i'm going to show you the load that i have right now so currently for the acr i was using a i was using more of a class that prioritizes movement at the same time is even though i was prioritizing movement i didn't have a lot of like control of the gun so i made a class where it's like i got a bit of control of the gun and i got movement so it's like both at the same time so we've got the reflex i mean you can switch this out from like maybe a hollow or maybe if you don't want reflex at all what i suggest you do is go muzzle and put on a either a barrel extender or a compensator which is really good because it balances out the recall so then we got the recon uh, barrel which you know 0.5 minimap visible duration and 5 ADS speed so that means I could quickly aim in and you know I can have the speed to aim in properly and that goes well with the stock as well which I will show you the pistol grip you know sprint shoot time minimum spread accuracy and max spread accuracy that is also really good because controlling this gun this gun at a very short range me short to medium range is very good and also at uh, long ranges too but if you want to if you wanted like more of a if you play more defensive I'll say put on maybe a, a tactical grip because that would be like much more beneficial but like since i'm a more aggressive player and i, I push everybody inside i go for more of a pistol grip i sometimes change this for the leather wrapped grip so you could do this instead but i prefer the lightweight because you know recoil recovery and also ads walking speed so i can you know move around with it i can strafe a bit with it because um x defined is a game where movement matters a lot this move the movement in this game is actually really good and the padded stock so this is what i was talking about to go with the go with the front rail the padded stock it has literally no downsides to it 15 percent uh, recoil recovery 10 percent uh, ads stability 5% ADS flinch control. So that's the loadout for the ACR. Now for the AK, I don't really have it maxed out right now, but I feel like the class I have right now is a really good starter class. Maybe I'll do an updated video on the AK-47 because I'm going to try to get this gold as well. So right now I have barrel. I was going to use recon, but I want to use uh, barrel mode because of the horizontal and vertical recoil. Considering this gun has a, lot, uh, a bit of a kick to it. Then I got a tactical grip. I was playing this with an angle grip, but I just realized like at medium to longish ranges that this gun wasn't performing as well as I would have had it with a tactical or a vertical grip. I played it with a vertical grip. Vertical grip was all right, but I just unlocked the tactical and I was playing games with it earlier. Tactical grip is literally like probably maybe one of the best grips in the game right now. For the mag, we have quick mag because the quick mag literally has no downsides to it. You get five more in the round and then you also have the 15% reload speed. Lightweight mag is good as well. I just prefer much more with a quick mag since there's no downsides to it. Grips, leather wrap grip, you know, ADS walking speed. Cause you know, in this game, you wanna you wanna strafe a lot a little bit. Especially when you're peeking, peeking corners, you'll see in the video how I peek corners. I always jump out, like I jump shot and I shoot and you will see that. For the stock, we've got precision stock, but I feel like the lightweight stock will be really good, but I need to unlock this uh, first. But precision stock is what we got for now, and this this the precision stock is actually a really good stock as well. I think it might be a little bit better than the folded. If you had to choose an option between folded or removal on the AK, it just depends on how you're gonna play. If you're playing mainly short short to medium range, go for removal. Folded is just that in case that you really just wanna kill that guy that's like in in the distance. Eee. Give me that B, boy. I saw the. No! Oh, I'm hearing people like everywhere. So that's a, yeah, so this this gun is mainly made for medium range. Just short range, this gun isn't performing. This is the perfect reason why the AK-47 doesn't do as good in longer ranges. Because as you can see, I lost that gunfight. One, because mainly because of my bad aim. But two, the person was using the MP7 and the MP7 does have a, f a faster fire rate than the AK-47. So that's why the AK-47 mainly does good in longer ranges because the fire rate can't really compete with an SMG at closer ranges. There you go. Bro, deploy my thing. Um, three or five. That was invisible. Not invisible, dude. Give, you, give me back, B. So that's another reason why the AK isn't really as good in short ranges. As you can see, I jump shot the person. Although I did get the kill, I would have killed them faster if I had an SMG, maybe like the P90 or the MP7. As the AK-47's uh, RPM isn't as fast as a SMG would be. So hence why this gun is mainly built towards medium to longish ranges. Especially long ranges when you play with this gun, you'll realize how much faster you can kill someone at longer ranges compared to short ranges there'll be like two sweats on the other team but it'd be actually fun to play with because you know not everybody's a fucking full-on try hard sweat like not everybody's a low life it just it'll just be it'll just be like so random but no i try i try pressing my l1 as you can see i killed those two people really quick uh with the ak-47 um 
the time to kill, you will notice the time to kill on longer ranges with the AK-47 is much more faster than it would be with a closer range because the AK has the stability and the recoil if you put the right attachments on it to be able to do really good damage longer ranges. So maybe if you're playing a bigger map like the plane map of course was called, the AK-47 really dominates there compared to the ACR build that I had because ACR, the ACR build is more of a short range. But in bigger maps, and uh, maps that have a lot of range. The AK-47 definitely dominates in those maps. That's the AK-47. We went, well, we'll see after this. 22 to 12, all right? So we went 22 to 12 on um, with the AK-47. Let's see how we do now with the ACR. Literally do it as you, as you um, aim. As you can see, the ACR literally just deleted that person from, from a longer range. It's just that you, you're you gonna have to be able to control the recoil a bit more, even though ACR recoil isn't as bad. It's just that the recoil control for longer ranges, because especially this class is meant to be able to lean towards more of a um, mobility build. You just need to control the recoil a, a bit more. And as you can see in that clip, like even though that was a, a longer range fight, I literally deleted him because of uh, my recoil control and the fact that the ACR can do really good damage at longer ranges if you have the right barrel on top of it. As you saw in that clip, I was literally deleting people from close ranges and uh, medium ranges. Um, in the clip, you also saw that the person with the snap scope was trying to shoot me and it took a little bit of time to kill them. That's because the ACR does uh, mainly better in medium to short ranges. If that was the AK-47 per chance, then it would have it would have literally deleted that person more quicker than the ACR. But the ACR does dominate in short ranges, as you can see when the person jump shot out uh, from me in front of me. And it's very good for, for what it can do. Uh, considering it's an assault rifle, I would say you can literally turn it into an SMG and just dominate throughout it in short range maps. Okay, that's it for the video today, guys. Which one do you think is better, the ACR or the AK-47? Let me know in the comments down below. Me, Percy, I think the ACR is better. Um, It just suits my playstyle way more. I love how the, the gun feels when I use it and I love the attachments that I can unlock with it as well. Um, I always uh, prefer to have a reflex on the gun uh, compared to an iron sight but compared to the AK-47 I just feel like the ACR in my opinion just suits my playstyle way more but the AK-47 you can make it into your type of playstyle especially if you like to play more defensive but yeah I just prefer the ACR in general thanks for watching the video I hope you guys enjoyed more X Defiant content coming more Rainbow Six Siege content coming you know we're gonna start uh, doing more games as well if you if there's anything else you want me to do let me know i want to start getting into horror games more and you know doing those uh, those type of stuff so support me on my journey love you guys peace